Hello everyone, it's me again, G Deli Fan the Sockcore Brony. Welcome you back to Let's Play Philly Fantasy VI. Say hello to the holidays, because they make things really busy, but <laughs> anyway, welcome to the world of ruin, as opposed to the what was formerly known as the world of balance. So here I have Cadence uh, specifically equipped uh, for dual building, as you can see, because this actually does her uh, really well, as well as the fact that I'm... Oh, actually, no, I'd rather start learning death as soon as possible. There's no way she's going to learn stop anytime soon. I'm at least part way to death, so... <laughs> That'll actually be a useful spell, but I have Cadence equipped uh, more for physical than magical, just... Well, kind of due to her somewhat odd nature. Despite being a designated mage, she actually has a... She starts off the game with a relatively mediocre magic stat, the lowest of any of the designated mages. And, in fact, I think she's the only designated mage who doesn't have a whole lot of ways to actually increase her magic stat as far as equipment goes until the late game. <laughs> it's kind of... Well, I guess it's interesting. I mean, she's... You know, built for speed and, interestingly enough, strength. She actually starts off with a half-decent bigger stat equivalent to Flash Sentry. <laughs> and because of the equipment she gets, she actually makes a decent diving character. Strangely enough, I mean, if you really wanted to build her bigger stat, you could. It's viable. She just, unfortunately, doesn't get a ultimate spear like Flash Sentry, so... <laughs> Although she does get a really, really good uh, weapon uh, unique to Alicorns. <laughs> yeah, the ultimate Alicorn weapon. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, so, well, based on that, if you really wanted to build it be a bigger character, go for it. I'm going to still build her be a mage, even though she's not going to be the best mage for a while. But in any case, now that we are in the world of Ruin, the world... Well, not only has changed, all the random encounter monsters in the world have changed. If there's anything you haven't fought that was in the world of balance, they're gone now. Well, almost. <laughs> More on that in a little bit. But, uh, oh. Well, right now, I'm going to ignore all these enemies and just run away, because we're by ourselves. We could easily get overwhelmed by the monsters here. That guy has actually has a really low physical attack. <laughs> the other guys can hit a lot harder. Uh, plus that uh, enemy, the Osprey, can use uh, Shim Sham, which will, like, cut your HP in half. That's no good. So anyway, we got Manhattan. This is still here, although not looking terribly, well, bright and colorful. I kind of glanced it, but I didn't really get a good look at it. Oh, is he? Well, that sucks. Anyway, I don't think there's anything new in the item shop. Uh, no. Just the same old, same old. If you, you know, really need it and all that. There's no new items to be found in all the pots and what have you around because we already got them. Hey. You could try going to another town. I mean, not all the towns look like this. Well, it would be kind of difficult to get to another town, though. Uh, a lot, if not most, of the uh, random encounter monsters on the world map can use the discorded status now, which is why I have the ribbon equipped. Oh, yeah? Ah, uh, yeah, that where the tower is, that used to be uh, the Empire. But uh, we'll check that out in a moment. Aren't you at the entrance, too? Huh. You are the same! Wow! <laughs> See, he told you the holidays were busy. I'm already getting interrupted. <laughs> Sheesh. Anyway. Here in the weapon shop, we well, finally can buy uh, all the uh, these three elemental sabers. Uh, actually, in this and a couple of different towns. If you don't have at least two flame sabers by now, then you might want to buy an extra one. Uh, I'm not really going to need the other one so much at least for the time being. Although there are a lot of monsters outside that are weak to ice, at least in the immediate area. But uh, dual wielding in the front row, not such a good idea. I mean, I suppose I could single target, but I might as well stick with the dual wielding alicorn weapons then. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I met one. Cadence was kind of necessary. I mean, you could go in without her, but it would be a lot more annoying because it counterattacks with the flare spell, which can't be reflected anymore in this mod. I wish. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway, I realized I kind of glossed over what, well, Minuet here had to say since she's in two places at once. Really? Another Alicorn? Huh. How are you burning the, the rock there? <laughs> Stone, uh, whatever it is, walkway. The light of judgment? Okay. Uh, yeah, you're still talking about a year later, huh? Ow. 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 Had to do it. Hey! Really? Ah, oh, the eight wraths as opposed to the eight dragons. I like the concept of the eight wraths. It's really, it's really interesting. I don't know about beyond anything, but you no, know, at least one of them is really, really hard. Anyhow, armor shop. Nothing too interesting here either. We can. I think this is the first time we can buy the silver. Chaffron as opposed to the other silver one that only the light armor characters could will, but it's not that strong compared to the other, uh, well, the race-based equipments. <laughs> so I wouldn't bother with it. I'm also not going to bother with the silver saddle either. I don't really need that at the moment. If you don't have four silver splints, then make sure you do. They'll be use That'll be useful eventually, but... Let's see, there should be yeah, this guy. Hey! Oh. Not that anyone cares these days. Oh, yeah, because the king's kind of dead. Oh, trotting him, huh? You should have went there, too. This place isn't going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, we got the port. There's nothing down here. The There's no one to run the ships. This will never run again. I mean, yeah, it basically only runs that one time. <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh, not going in there right now. Actually, no, I will go in there right now. I'm not going to walk all the way through it. Oh. Six heroes, huh? Would that be, like, the elements of harmony? The... Six were sealed away by the rats? Huh. You know, I'm not fully sure what that means, unless it's supposed to be some kind of reference to the elements of harmony, which don't really exist in this mod, per se. I mean, there is a sort of representation, but... Anyway, if here in the this place, we can, yeah, buy all these, sapphire, ruby, etc, etc, etc. You may actually need a couple of ruby rings, or at least one in the... Uh, future, they don't have one for whatever reason, so you might want to get that. Uh, everything else, don't need that right now, so... Great. Actually, there's stuff I can sell right now, that I think about it. Uh, I guess, yeah, I might as well come over this way. Hey! Oh, yeah. So nice when the Empire was bossing us around and forcing us to, I don't even know, <laughs> whatever the heck this is. Well, anyway. Yeah, you'll never be controlled again. Huh. Anyway. <laughs> I was going to just skip doing that and come around this way first, but I just ended up going that way anyway because... Where are... There you are. Chrysalis? Huh. So I guess she's actually flying... Yeah, she is flying around. We can't fight her or anything right now, but... Uh, yeah, she is in the world, apparently, because Discord took control or, and whatnot. Honestly, I kind of thought it's because... Well, one of the 
Well, there's something uh, that kind of came into the opera house. Well, you're both gonna get in my way, aren't you? Oh, really? Forget it. I'm not gonna go in the end. I don't have anything to do in there right now. But yeah, there's something in the opera house right now, and I always kind of assumed that was the reason she had left. But, uh... You know, speaking of equipment... Actually, I think I will sell a couple of things that I don't need anymore. Just the old, old stuff that, like, I got, you know, when I first got here and all that. <laughs> and I think I'm actually going to rearrange my equipment since I'm running from everything anyway. So I'll do that real quick and be right back. All right, I got rid of just a couple items, mostly just the steel, like some of the leftover steel equipment I still had. And, uh... Oh, make sure you still have the both the Denji and Plain Dress. Those will still come in handy for the future. And, yeah, otherwise... Well, I do still have the Steel Claws, because I've never bothered to replace them with anything, though I'm probably not going to use them. But, anyhow, I have re-equipped Cadence, uh, well, with that Ruby Ring that I was just talking about, and given her a shield just because it's a little safer to get across the world like that. Oh, well, my health isn't that bad right now. Anyhow, this is the tower that every pony's talking about. This is, yeah, the what, Discord's tower. This is the final dungeon. But Discord being Discord, apparently he forgot to put in a door anywhere on the ground. So we can't actually get in there. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of, I like the, how that everything kind of swirled that into it like that. Surprised the town didn't get sucked in there, too. I mean, the uh, Manhattan, that is. Anyway, we can... Well, kind of go more or less wherever. You can see uh, from the world map down there that the world is a bit different. Like, where we were, the Solitary Island, this little bit down here. Actually, I don't even know if you can see the mouth. But, yeah, this little bit over there in the bottom uh, left there. I think that used to be part of, well, whatever the town, the far west was called. Was that one Van Hoover? I think that one was Van Hoover. But that's separated from the continent now. However, we can go up to the town up here, optionally. And continue running from monsters that could... Ugh. Glad I got the shield. Sheesh! There is at least one significant monster around here. I mean, not that could, like, kill you or anything, but one that I want to point out eventually, but... Oh, this one was Vancouver. Never mind the other... I forget what the other one was then. Really? Yeah, it's that kind of dragon-looking piece of land to the uh, east. Cult of Discord. Huh. What the... What the hey? Don't walk through me! What's going on? Well, before that, let's go to the inn real quick. And talk to this guy, and he'll heal us for free. He won't do that any other time, but I guess emergency and all that. I oops, I could go to the in weapon shop, what have you, but there's nothing really interesting there right now. So, really, what house? Anyway, just know where are you? There you are. This guy up here got any juicy gossip. If you have not uh, acquired have not acquired uh, Morning Glory yet, this guy will sell it, will sell her to you for, I think, 10 bits <laughs> at this point, as opposed to the 3,000 of four. Yeah, nothing that interesting in the Relic Shop here, although it should be noted, this is the only shop in the game to buy the Wing Shoes, which, I'm, well, I'll need another one eventually, but not right now. Uh, otherwise, yeah, we can buy Peace Rings here. You'll want to have at least three for the future, but not now. Anyhow, hey! Get out of the way! <sighs> Luna! Joyous day! Huh? Yeah, in the original game, Celeste is just like, oh, hey, let's go! And then Sabin's like, uh, no, I kind of can't. <laughs> you know, like, not go inside, but, like, just literally, like, leave and continue the adventure. It's like she didn't care. <laughs> So I like the fact that Amore's like, hey, we need to get, we need to help. <laughs> yeah, there's a kid inside. So once again, hold down B to run. In case you didn't know that, and you, I don't know, you, this is the 
first video, mind you, watched or something. Or whatever you have designated as the B button. We have a extremely easy to beat time limit. You can actually hold it for a pretty long time, though. Bah! <laughs> Look at that, six minutes! Oops. There are treasures in here, and... oh. Well, I was gonna say I'm just gonna run from everything, but apparently I'm not going to run from everything. <sighs> well, that's annoying. These guys might kill me. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die. Well, crud. Uh, I'll try this again. Yep. <sighs> Anyhow, I would equip a back guard, but I kind of need the ruby ring eventually. Here we get another Aurora ring. Awesome. Yeah, otherwise, I'm just gonna run from everything because, though, they're kind of dangerous and it's faster just to run. So, dang it. Because I don't usually get into a side attack like that. That's the first time it's ever happened to me going through this place. Yeah, these guys will set uh, condemned on the condemned status on you, but it's not really that big a deal. Bio Blade, not gonna need that ever, probably. Oh yeah, there's the other enemy hermit crab, the Stalker there, or PM Stalker, I think it was called in the original game, which can cast fire on you, fire two specifically, and pretty much wipe you out almost, which is why I want that ruby ring. Life ring, awesome. And then there is a, there are enemies that can petrify you in here, which is why I want the ribbon, so. Yeah, these guys, I don't care. Hit them with their own Fire 2 spell. Is that me or them? That's me. Bye! Because they happen to also be weak to fire. Because I guess they're undead monsters. Wow, that's a lot of experience points. And... Oop, missed it by that much. Cider Cup, awesome. Jerks! The whole lot of you. At least you're not side attacking me, though. This isn't so bad. Shield kind of helps, and I should probably heal myself in anyhow, which I have plenty of time to do. I mean, I could just switch between like the I don't know the back guard and the ruby ring, but those pe those stalker enemies are random encounters as well, so that's no good. Smelling like salt, I don't care. But yeah, if they weren't random encounter monsters, I would just switch between ruby ring in the back guard because they're easy enough <laughs> you know for the well the I mean it's not like I have to open the chest and have the random encounter of the monsters inside because they don't give me anything besides experience points anyway but I figure I might as well but yeah another one the PM stalkers don't care I'll just use yeah the old player two on them because Cadence is strong enough to do that yeah two of them decided to do that you're basically dead is that me or you ha Good many points. I suppose I could have tried to learn stop from that, but because I will need stop eventually. But I wanna. I have a higher priority in death because that's a little bit more useful in the more immediate future than stop is. So here we get the vampire sword. Actually, I think there's a random encounter monster. In the near future, we can just get that from. I'll look at the Vampire Sword a little later. Basically, you can use it to absorb HP, which isn't really that interesting. Uh, since it won't be able to do any damage unless you take it damage. So I suppose it could be useful around here. Jerks. But, yeah, I'm not really that interested in it, so... I don't think I've ever bothered to use it. I am! I've saved the kid! And I believe that was all the treasures. Back away! Can you imagine how useful those treasures would have been back in the world of balance? But yeah, anyway, Luna! You're alive! 
<laughs> but of course. I like what Sabin says in the original. It's like, did you really think a little thing like the end of the world was enough to do me in? Or something like that. <laughs> No, no. I mean, Luna, oddly enough, is an optional party member. She and Rarity and Class Sentry, I know, if you don't recruit them, it changes the ending a little bit. Anybody else, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, optional characters. In fact, there's only three characters that you absolutely must recruit, including uh, Cadence herself. <laughs> But yes, every pony is still alive. Because of course we survived the end of the world. I don't know how we're supposed to bring the world back exactly, but maybe get undoes some kind of crazy, I don't know, craziness that he did there with the founders and all that. Anyway, we have Luna back in the party. All right. And equipment. Nothing that interesting here, I believe. Yeah, we can get the chaperons if you absolutely need them. I, well, you are going to need at least two red chaperons for the future. And... Yeah, some of the chaperons. Steel saddle is available for some reason. Okay. And, yeah, nothing that interesting here. And otherwise, I think there's only, like, two things new here. One thing I actually do want to buy is the Morning Star, the next upgrade to the Full Moon. Not as good as the Aurora Ring, but still good for... Well, still a little bit stronger than the Full Moon there, and otherwise these are available as well. So anyway, I'm going to re-equip the party now and be right back. Uh, and then we'll... Well, won't quite start heading north on the Serpent Trench. Anyway, the end costs 350 bits, which is still more expensive than a tent. <laughs> but, uh, well, actually, one thing I didn't even realize, you can't buy tents here, but you can buy apple pies now for a whopping 2,000 bits. <laughs> not that I would do that. You may or may not want to buy harmonizers. There's going to be plenty of monsters that drop these just by happenstance anyway. But, but because there's a lot of monsters in the world map now that can... Uh, use the Discord and status, which is why I have Luna equipped with the Peace Ring and, well, uh, Cadence with the, uh, Ribbon there. Now, as you can see, I've given Luna the Aurora Ring and Cadence the Morning Star, even though I'm actually, even though Cadence is actually going to be using a lot of physical attacks there. Reason being that, well, the Aurora Ring has, like, one more point to, uh, bigger speed and uh, magic stats uh, compared to the Morning Star, and it's only 10 points weaker as far as damage goes. So I figure I'd rather give the slightly stronger one to Luna, who kind of needs all the help she's going to get right now. She's not terribly strong. So. Oh, also, one more thing that I think about it, I totally almost forgot. Yeah, she still does not have her next ability, which. I realize, actually, she gets at level 25, not 24. Same with Applejack's next ability, but that's kind of the reason I also have Luna with the Hero Ring, because she is going to get one magical ability, which is her next uh, Alicorn ability, which is really, really good. And the other thing I actually realized I almost forgot, I do want to start teaching her the Stop spell now as soon as possible. Although, yeah, because unfortunately, Masquerade does not teach... Uh, stop anymore like it did in earlier versions at a rate of times five. It, this is, I believe, the only way to teach, uh, learn stop right now. I don't know if I'll actually get it by the time I need it, but hopefully I will. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, we'll, well, nothing left to do, to do here in Vancouver, and we'll continue on to the Serpent Trench and, well, some other things next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy VI. Arriva Derchi!